In this tutorial, you'll learn about the long and cross profiles of a river. Let's begin with the long profile of a river. This is the gradient of a river from its source down to the mouth of the river. And in this diagram, the source at the top and the mouth down by the sea. And the gradient changes. In the upper course of the river, we can describe the gradient as steep. And in the middle course, the gradient will be shallow. And in the lower course, it will be more or less flat. And you can see that the gradient shape is a very concave shape. So the long profile is concave. So let's have a look at some photographs of the gradient. In the upper course, you can distinctly see a very steep gradient here. In fact, there's a waterfall. In the middle course, the river is flowing down in a shallow gradient. And in the lower course, the gradient is much more flat. Cross profiles, by contrast, are something very different. They are a side-on view of the river and the river valley. Let's have a look at the river valley. This is the area either side of the river and it's to do with the valley sides. Are they steep? Are they flat? The valley floor? Is it wide? And also any landforms that there might be. The river channel itself is the water where the river is carried and the things that will change as the river goes from the source down to the mouth include the width of the river, the depth, the velocity or how fast the river is flowing, the volume of water in the river and the sediment. These will all change as you go from the source down to the mouth and you might be able to see some of these in the cross profile. So the cross profile of the upper course of a river near to the source, well of course the valley sides are very steep and we can see that there in the diagram. The channel will be very narrow and it will also be very shallow. It doesn't flow very quickly um, because there are too many obstacles. And because it doesn't flow very quickly, it won't really have um, much energy to transport materials. So you probably find quite a big deposit of large boulders here. So here in this photograph of the upper course of a river and its valley, let's have a look at the cross profile of a, of a river. We can see that it is um, very narrow. It's not going to be very deep. There are deposits of boulders here and it's uh, not going to be flowing very quickly. Looking at the valley itself, well we've got the steep um, gradient here and there isn't really much of a valley floor itself, um, not very wide at all really. As you go down the river to the middle course um, you can see that the river has become um, somewhat wider and the river has started to erode the steep valley sides to create what we call flood plains, flat areas of land either side of the river channel. And the place where the flood plain ends and the valley start sides start to rise again, this is known as the bluff line. So here we can see a river in its middle course, uh, a lovely meander here flowing through the river valley. The channel itself uh, we can see is much wider, it's likely to be much deeper and it's likely to be carrying um, much more load. Looking at the river valley this time, um, it's got a very lovely wide um, floodplain here and also on the other side of the river. And, and you can see the bluff line where the valley sides start to increase in height again and steepness in this direction. And there's another bluff line right here. 
as the valley starts to increase in steepness in that direction. And finally, the lower course of the river, we have a much wider river here, uh, which is going to be much deeper and much faster flowing. We have a wider floodplain on either side, and it's a very flat area of land, um, possibly before it reaches um, any further bluff lines that may exist. So here we are now in the lower course of the river. You can see a very wide river which will be very fast flowing, carrying lots of sediment, small particles of silt. And in the background you can see a very wide floodplain. It will go on for miles. It will be very flat indeed. And so that concludes the cross profile of the lower course of a river.